Hey guys, it's Chris from Sunny Australia here. Um, I have finished uh, going through all the leagues in Klondike's Minesweeper game and um, thought that I would do a little tutorial and strategy video guide for anyone you know, who might find that useful. So here we go. Um, so I won't give an explanation for this first one. I'll just um, just play the game and then what we'll do is we'll go back and we'll play around and I'll explain my strategies and uh, show you how I got to this point. Um, so yeah, if you're wondering why we're playing here at Ukti instead of starting at home, um, the honest answer is that I have so much uh, stuff on my home station that um, I do tend to get a little bit of lag and I thought um, it would just be easier if um, I showed you guys somewhere where I don't get quite as much lag. So here we go. Just hopefully I can just do this first one nice and quick and um, show you guys a little bit about how to play. I know some people have um, have messaged me, how on earth have you you gotten that far? Um, you know, I just I don't know how to play at all, so I suppose that's what this tutorial is about. Um, hopefully, um, just helping people that um, are struggling a little bit with the with the game. So. Okay, 50-50 chance. Uh, wish me luck, guys. Uh, not much you can do about that one, I'm afraid. Okay, so very close to winning there, but uh, no, no success. But so now I'm going to play through a round, and uh, I'll explain some strategies to you guys, and hopefully it's um, hopefully we can have um, a win and be a little bit informative. So. Um, one is what you're looking for when you start, because statistically you're most likely to find a large open area, which is the most helpful thing when you're starting a game of Minesweeper. So um, yeah, like that. So that's exactly what you're going for when you uh, when you start. So the thing to remember about Minesweeper is Minesweeper is a process of elimination game. Um, what I mean by that, let's take this one here where my cursor is. This one is already touching a mine, which means we can eliminate every other mine here, not mine, every other box that that one was touching, so we know these were all free. And the same process applies to this number one here. This number one is touching this mine, so therefore we can eliminate this one, this one, this one. We know there's no mines in there. Um, this one here, so this one is already touching a mine. We're going to get rid of all the other boxes that are touching that number one. Um, so let's move on to something a little bit different. So patterns in the game, you'll learn to pick some patterns if you start playing it a little bit. So this number one here, there's only two possible places that this mine could be. It could be here, it could be here. What does that tell us? Well, there's another number one here, it's touching the same two boxes. So because we know from this number one that one of these two boxes is a mine, we know this one is not. And what has that told us? Well, now we know where the mine is out of those two boxes, and we can eliminate this one. And see the chain effect. Now you can get rid of these two, um, and including this one. And so you can see that follow-on effect there. It's really much an effect. This is another really useful one. This one here where my cursor is, um, it's touching this mine. So this, 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 and this, they're not mine. Here's another pattern for you. Um, three ones along the wall. This means this one here is not going to be a mine because of this number one. So this number one means that one of these two is a mine. So uh, and this number one here is another useful one. So let's get rid of those two. You know now this one and this one. This number one is touching this mine. Let's get rid of that. This number one is also touching the same mine. Okay, so here's another pattern. So this number one, we know now that that means one of these two is a mine. Therefore, this one is touching. Whichever of those two it is, not going to be this one, is it? And that two, there's a really useful two because um, once we've eliminated that, there's only two possibilities that, that those mines could be. We have another number one here, and you can apply exactly the same thing to your higher numbers. So in higher levels, you apply exactly the same principle. This number two here, one mine, two mines. So we know every other box that it's touching is not a mine. This number one, you now it's not a mine. We have two here touching already two mines. Eliminate, eliminate. Okay, so now I'll show you what I do when we have a situation like this. 
So this number two is already touching one. There's two other options, this box and this box. And here we have a three. That's really interesting. So this three is touching one mine. We know from the number two that one of these two and only one of these two is a mine. So that three is touch also touching that box. And that only leaves one option for the third mine, this number three. And that's this one here. Why is that useful? Why have I just marked that? Um, because you can apply a process of elimination again. So because I've just marked this one now with a single click, so I know that that's a mine. This two here, this two is touching this mine, that's one. And we now know this is the other mine, meaning I can eliminate this and this. And look, there's that mine that I thought it was. Um, here, number two, we can get rid of that. Number one, touching one mine. One, two, three, we can get rid of those. Okay, let's apply that um, process of elimination here. So this number two is touching one mine here. Over here, we have two boxes that the second mine could be in. This number two here in the middle. This is touching one mine of these two boxes. So we know this one over here is a mine. So I'm just going to mark that so I know exactly where it is. Um, let's just see what else we have here that we can eliminate. Okay, so here's another good elimination for us. So this two down the bottom where my cursor is. So we're touching one. So we know the second one is one of these two boxes. And that's important because there's a three here that's already touching two mines. So of this three, here's one mine, two mines, here's the third mine in one of these two boxes, which means we can eliminate the third box that three is touching. And hey, look, now we've got a two here touching two mines, eliminate, eliminate, and that's bought us a lot more. So where do we go from here? This number three here is the important one. And these are all patterns that you'll learn to recognize um, with practice. That's just, literally, it's like anything, it's just practice. So this number three here is touching one, two, three mines already. We can eliminate the last box that it's touching. This number two here is already touching one mine here. One of these two boxes is the second mine. This three here is touching one, two, and one of the mystery mines here, meaning we can eliminate this one, which tells us where it is. So we're getting to the end of the level now. Um, here's a number two, which is already touching two. We'll get rid of that. This number one and number two means that's not one. So when you get to the end of the level and uh, you have a situation like this where um, the numbers aren't necessarily telling you anything, what you do is you look down here. This is another clue for you. There is only one piece of one dynamite, one bind remaining. So if we have a look at this, the first thing I can tell you is that it's not this one. Um, how do I know that? Because uh, we know that it's touching this number one, the mine, uh, it's touching number three, and it's touching number two. So we can eliminate that. It's still not really useful um, until we look at the fact that if there's only one mine left, that's touching the one, the three, and the two. Process of elimination tells us uh, there's only one place to be. It's, it's this mine here. Um, because if there were any of the others, these numbers would be different which means we can get rid of this and get rid of this. And uh, look at that, we've won. So, yep, that's pretty much how you play. Um, so this video has become really long. <laughs> I hope it's been useful uh, to you. You really do get some useful resources, um, especially for lower level players. Um, even when you start out at Home Station, I, I highly recommend you keep playing Home Station even after you've moved up to leagues uh, like OG and uh, Policide. Um, because you get some really excellent things uh, like your lead light set, um, lots of gold, uh, some clay, some coal, just, just lots of really useful things. Um, so hit me with any questions you have, guys, and I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks so much. Bye.